When you think of crystal clear waters, the pictures that normally come to mind are of the Maldives, some Caribbean or Mediterranean islands with endless beaches, and my bathtub. Yeah, I keep it really clean. Now, these other places can indeed boast super clean waters, but there are less expected locations where you can see through the water down to the bottom. Let's tour them right now. Melisani Lake, Greece Melisani Lake goes through a cave that has the same name. There are at least three reasons to visit this natural landmark in Kefalonia, Greece. First, it's crystal clear water. Second, it's 20,000 years of history. And third, the legends that surround it. On a sunny day, the sea green waters of Melisani Lake are filled with dazzling light. It used to be completely underground, but thanks to an earthquake, it was opened up and is now 60 feet below the surface of the water. The cave serves as a natural filter for the seawater the lake is filled with, and it makes it even more transparent. As you sail around in a boat, admiring the beauty of local stalactites, you'll also enjoy the Greek myths swirling around the place. According to them, it used to be the home to nymphs, and it's even named after one of them – beautiful, heartbroken Melisanthe. Crater Lake, USA Crater Lake is the true gem of Crater Lake National Park in Oregon. It was formed 7,700 years ago when the volcano Mount Mazama collapsed. It's the deepest lake in the United States. While many lakes get their waters from rivers, Crater Lake is fed only by rain and snowfall, and the water in it gets completely replaced every 250 years. Maybe that's what makes the lake so spotlessly blue. There's a fun sight inside the lake, the so-called old man of the lake, that's a vertically floating hemlock first recorded in 1896. Flathead Lake, USA Montana's Flathead Lake is the largest freshwater lake in the western part of the country. It's home to many types of fish – yellow perch, trout, whitefish, sturgeon, and whatnot. Fishing, swimming, water skiing, and picnicking are some of the popular activities here, but nothing can compare to taking a boat trip on the lake. Its waters are so clear, it looks like boats aren't sailing but flying over the bottom. In fact, Flathead is what's left of the huge glacial Lake Missoula that was here 13,000 years ago. The water that fills Flathead Lake comes from the Rocky Mountains and is mostly pure snow that melts into crystal clear water. Five Color Pond in Zhujiagao Valley, China Now you've seen crystal clear lakes, but can you imagine a multicolored one? It's real, and it's located in the Zhujiagao Nature Reserve that's part of the Minshan Mountain Range in China. Five Color Pond, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, has an unusual chemical composition with hydrophytes and calcium carbonates in it, calcareous sediment in the bottom, and plenty of algae. All this, plus the beautiful forests surrounding the lake and reflecting in it, make the water look green, azure blue, yellow, orange, and even purple. It looks especially gorgeous in the fall. Gruner Sea, Austria Speaking of waters with unusual colors, how would you like a crystal clear lake that looks completely green, hence its name? Another mountain lake, it's at its deepest in the summertime, reaching 39 feet because it feeds from snowmelt. Gruner Sea used to be popular with divers, and some even installed a bridge and a bench for them underwater. However, in 2016, local authorities prohibited any activity inside the lake. They feared that divers could stir up the sediment from the lake bottom and it would lose its unique clear greenness. At the moment, the best you can do is hike around the lake. Pato Lake, Canada Pato Lake is a must-see for tourists hiking in Banff National Park in the Rocky Mountains. When you look at it from above, it seems unnatural because of its bright, somewhat neon turquoise color. It seems especially radiant in the summer when melting glacial waters flow into it, bringing rock flower. Pato Lake doesn't only look different from season to season, but also seemingly changes color during the day, depending on the sun's activity. The best view of the lake is from Bow Summit, which is the highest point on the ice fields parkway. The Blue River, Greenland Anyone who's ever crossed the Atlantic Ocean by plane has seen a huge patch of snow-covered lands in between Europe and America. 
despite what many people think, Greenland actually has its own population and attracts tourists. One of the reasons to go would be to see the stunning Blue River. Unlike most rivers you know, this one doesn't have a permanent stream bed. It looks different and new every year. Understandably, its feeding source is a glacier. And in spring, as it starts to melt intensively, millions of puddles and pools unite and turn into lakes and streams that form the colorful ribbon of the Blue River. With global warming, the melting has become more active in the past years. Lake Baikal, Russia Lake Baikal is the deepest and oldest lake in the world, with 20% of all fresh water on the planet and 25 million years of age. The water here is so clean and clear, you can see to a depth of 130 feet inside the lake. A lot of people come here in the summer, but winter is the time when things get magical. Don't forget Baikal is in Siberia, which means it freezes and the layer of ice is so thick, small vehicles are allowed to drive on it. And because the water is so clear, the ice is also see-through, and you can observe the underwater life with no special equipment needed. Multiple weird cracks appear on the ice to let oxygen inside and help its inhabitants survive the winter. Lake Mashu, Japan It's basically impossible to tell the sky from the ground when you're looking at Lake Mashu on Japan's Hokkaido Island. When its transparency was measured in 1931, it even beat Lake Baikal with a result of 136 feet. It's a crater lake that lies in the caldera of a potentially active volcano. Unlike most other lakes, it doesn't have regular shores, but is surrounded by crater walls 660 feet high. Mashu was formed as a result of volcanic activity 32,000 years ago. Even though tourists aren't allowed down to the lake, there are some really good observation decks around it. Lake Mackenzie, Australia Lake Mackenzie is situated on Fraser Island in Queensland, the largest sand island in the world. Mackenzie is a perched lake filled with fresh rainwater that's 320 feet above the ground. The acid content in the lake is so high, no living creatures inhabit it. It looks so bright it seems unnatural. The heart-shaped trees surrounding it make the landscape look even more surreal. The local indigenous Buchilla people believe the lake is actually the eyes of a transformed deity, Kigari, and that's why it's so unbelievably beautiful. Ho Rainforest, USA Ho Rainforest is one of the seven wonders of Washington state. It's located on the Olympic Peninsula and follows the Ho River. The river flows out of a glacier on Mount Olympus. Fine glacial flower is what gives the river its crystal clear greenish shade. This makes the area a perfect place for hiking and even outdoor clothing manufacturer ads, since you can walk through the river like a real adventurer. Lençóis Manarenses National Park, Brazil Though Manarejo State National Park might look like a desert at first glance, it's not, since it receives way more water than a desert does by definition. Maharenses means bedsheets in Portuguese, and the place does look covered with smooth white bed sheets of sand. During the rainy season, mainly between January and June, the dunes get filled up with clear water and turn into a fantastic pattern of beautiful lagoons that are perfect for swimming. The Blue Lake, New Zealand New Zealand's Nelson Lakes National Park is home to the clearest lake in the world. The Maori believe this place to be sacred, and no one is allowed to swim in it or even enter it. The only exceptions are made for scientific purposes, for example, to measure its transparency. The last time they did, it turned out to be a striking 260 feet, and it's also basically as clear as distilled water. It never gets warm, staying between 41 and 46 degrees Fahrenheit, since it's located at an elevation of three quarters of a mile. Hiking, camping, and fishing, as well as helicopter tours are all allowed though, so you still have a good chance to see this natural wonder. So what about you? Which of these places would you want to visit most of all? Let me know down in the comments. If you learned something new today, then give this video a like and share it with a friend. But hey, don't go running off to see the clear water just yet. We have over 2,000 cool videos for you to check out. All you have to do is pick the left or right video, click on it, and enjoy. Stay on the bright side of life.